Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King. Hey, today is all about the loaded Nashville hot cheese fries. You guys want to stay around for this one. All right, I get asked all the time, one, to make sides on the griddle, two, stop making entrees, make something completely different, and three, how to do french fries on the griddle. And it's kind of like a, one of those shocking things, right? Just put it on the griddle and go. Well, one, you want to balance the temperature because you don't want to shock your griddle because obviously french fries, majority of the time are frozen. And two, what direction do we want to go? I'm all over the board on this one. And as soon as we started filming, I went left, we recalibrated, I went right, and now I'm back in the middle. So this is the idea, right? We got golden steak fries, just because I thought it might have been a little bit more easier to do uh, french fries versus fresh fries. Plus, I can show you how to do uh, frozen on the griddle, right? Always have a little color. We love our green onions. Pitball sent me this Nashville hot rub. What a great way to break it in. My wife had the great idea of mixing the hot rub because she don't like the heat as much with a little ranch seasoning. Crumble up some bacon after it's cooked. We didn't know which cheese sauce we wanted, so we got both. I think this is going to be the winner. And when we eat at a restaurant in town, when we get the loaded cheese fries, they put um, banana peppers on them. So we thought, so are we. You ready? Yes. Let's go. All right, first things first, let's get our cheese sauce warming up. All right, let's talk about temperature today. Since we're dealing with a, a very cold autumn, I'm still gonna go low, but I'll turn my left burner on because that is a cold, um, a colder area on my griddle. So I'm gonna bring it back up to temperature. We don't need a lot of cheese. So we have to control the temperature on this as well. I'm gonna put a splash of milk in there to thin it out. That way we can spoon it all over those cheese fries. Half and half. Yeah, what'd I say? Milk. I think it's kind of the same thing, honey. You find it in the dairy aisle, it's white. Something like that. All right, we're just gonna let this warm up. No big deal. Just get it up to temperature. And you're looking for a consistency, right? Every time I tell you guys something, whether it be the thickness, the temperature, whatever, right? Same thing with your cheese sauce. How, however much cheese sauce you want, you need to balance how thin it is and what it looks like. Ooh, I think I like that right there. You like that right there? Yep. All right, we're going with that. See that right there? My french fries have been out of the freezer maybe 15, 20 minutes. They're still hard as a rock. I'm gonna start laying them over here on the cooler side of the griddle. I'm gonna show you why in a second. You guys wanna throw down as much bacon as you like. Obviously, I don't think you can have loaded fries without bacon. Plus, we're gonna use that leftover bacon grease to fry some of those french fries in. All right, I got my stuff cooking on the griddle. I'm just gonna take a green onion. Obviously, this is extremely optional. We're gonna go super thin. It's not a big deal. Kind of embarrassed to even show it. But for the newbies out there, especially when you're doing garnish or you're trying to press your significant other, or you just wanna try something different, right? Something is easy instead of going square with the knife and flush, right? Create a 45 degree angle. It's gonna give you the idea of like cutting on the bias. Little different presentation. Makes your strips longer as you can imagine. Just something different, right? All right, we got our Nashville hot rub. Uh, let's go two big old, it's probably about three tablespoons right there in Nashville hot, okay? Obviously, depending on how hot you like it, depends on how, what you put in there. It's about a tablespoon and a half, so three to one and a half. Three to one and a half. Just trying to eyeball it right here. And this is where you need to start tasting it to see what you like. Ooh. Dang, that's got a kick. So we'll make that, what, three to two. Right there, okay? That's gonna be our seasoning to toss our fries in. Three tablespoons of this and two tablespoons of that. 
All right, we're just cooking our bacon crispy, right? Save that bacon grease. Typically, a lot of times I use avocado oil. See, we're gonna do like a, basically like a very light shallow fry. I'm just gonna use a little peanut oil. Just let the flat top warm it up. And now your potatoes have had a chance to come up to temperature. You just want to get a thin layer just like you would bake them, right? Each place gets its own happy on the griddle. Uh, so my wife wanted me to reiterate. So one of the reasons why we chose steak fries over curly fries or something like that, you can imagine that the steak fries basically just have two sides. So they're a lot easier to control on the griddle. You get a lot more even cooking. Just something to consider. Also, too, I get asked all the time, what food should I be cooking on the griddle after I season it? I personally think this is a fantastic idea as long as you're not shocking your griddle because once again, your griddle is able to use oils at a high temp that can handle high temp and it's actually good for the seasoning. Does that make sense? Did I say that right? I think so. Good. All right, our bacon's done. It's had time to cool. Just chop it up in whatever pieces you like. Heck, lay the whole strip of bacon on there if you like it. So that's ready for the topping. All right, see how much color we got there now? That's what I'm talking about. Nice and crispy. Flat tops off. Now this is very important, right? Probably the most important thing of the day. How many people are going to share it with? This is one whole bag, so this is one person. <laughs> now really, you wanna season this as soon as they come off, right? So we made our mix, and I'm gonna try to uh, just guess. I don't need more than that. I'm gonna start tossing. While that oil's still warm in there. Now, I'm going to warn you, that Nashville hot seasoning's got a kick to it. It'll get you. It'll get oh, you. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, now it's time to build, right? Just lay these fries out just like this. I'm just scared to hit it with a little bit of seasoning. Now that your potatoes are piled up, Take that warm cheese sauce right over top, right over top. Who are we kidding, right? Crumble some bacon. Hit it with that ranch. You got those banana peppers. Just for a little color, just for a little color. Just top it off one more time, a little bit of that seasoning. Now that is how we do Nashville hot loaded french fries. Woo! The hardest thing about making food on a video is not be able to eat right away. I'm absolutely foaming at the mouth. 
I don't know how you pick one out. Heck with it. They're french fries, right? You're not gonna mm. give me one? Mm. Uh, you got hands? Let me, let me just get it. Good one here. Can you put jalapenos on there? Absolutely. Can you put like fried chicken nuggets on there and make like honey mm. style, Nashville hot? Not good. Fries, whatever you want. It's just an idea. I gotta get another one. Cheat day. I gotta get another one. Whatever you guys, if you think it's too spicy, it's got a kick, but it's not too bad. Uh-uh. Oh man. What are you, hey, hey, easy, easy. This is for one. Portion for one. This is lunch. The way you're eating is about to be lunch, breakfast, and dinner. Golly. All right, guys, whatever you do, make it and tag us on The Griddle Group on Facebook. You guys know that we get inspired. We say it all the time and thank each and every one of you. If you guys are interested, we have a join button down below. We got a program set up for behind the scenes, just a way to help out the channel. First and foremost, thank each and every one of you for supporting us. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends. I went through all of that in one take. Peace. Because <laughs> we want to get to these fries. Mm. So good. Mm -hmm. I need a fork. You ain't getting it. You're getting the better toppings. Mm.